Thanks for clicking on the video. Bar is open, so let's review the Qingdao Premium Stout. Hi, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And if you're watching this video on the day it's released, which is the eve of Lunar New Year, then here's wishing you and your family a prosperous Lunar New Year. And the reason why I chose this beer or this stout simply because it's from Qingdao, China, where you know the, the Lunar New Year originated. And I've never actually come across this before. It's only when I was, you know, uh, topping up petrol in my car, waiting for the cashier while the, the car was being filled up. Uh, I looked in the fridge and I saw a Qingdao stout. So I figured, why not? And this Qingdao stout is retailing at 590 Singapore dollars. For that, you will get a 500 ml can with 4.8% alcohol content. And for those who have been following this channel for quite a while, you might remember that I like the Qingdao Lager, right? It's, it's actually really good for its price, smooth and flavorful. In fact, if I had a choice of only one beer from China to drink, I would choose the Qingdao Lager. So here's hoping the Qingdao Stout can follow in the Qingdao Legacy. Now, unlike the Guinness draft, this doesn't come with any instructions on how to pour this stout. So I'm going to pour it like how I pour my beers, meaning I'll pour them a little bit more haphazardly so that the foam will be in the glass instead of in my stomach. Plus, I'll be describing how this stout looks, smells and tastes. And immediately, you know, it has a very nice foam uh, as per most stouts. However, the foam is disappearing faster than most other stouts. So I'm not too hopeful it's going to be a full-bodied stout. Color-wise, it is beautifully chocolatey. Uh, it's very dark. There's some transparency, you know, some, or rather some translucentness uh, in this drink. But I can't see beyond the glass. I can just see that some light is coming in. So that makes it feel like a very thick stout. It might not have a long finish, but it looks like it could be quite flavorful. Scent-wise, you can see the foam is already almost, you know, 50% gone already. But scent-wise, it doesn't smell too heavy. In fact, I would I would say that I can even detect roasted malt, but I can't detect the, the alcohol in the in the stout. You know, you, you do tend to have this alcohol smell for beers and stouts. I can't actually detect it. I, I detect the sweetness of that roasted malt. So it's actually quite an interesting scent. Home is almost all gone. So let's not waste time and go for the taste test. But one thing I missed out is a little bit of the label. This is the imported Qingdao Premium Stout, dark and intense. This is a bold and velvety stout, balanced in taste. And I agree, it is very smooth as a stout. It actually gives me a texture that's more in line with a dark lager as opposed to a stout. So it's a lot lighter than regular stouts and it's a lot smoother as well. And as you drink it, it's very nice and sweet on the tongue. Um, but there's, there's that roasted malt that I mentioned, you know, just sitting on my throat. So while I can't really say it's layers, uh, it does bring about different characteristics in different parts of the mouth. So all in all, it's a very enjoyable beer. However, for my stouts, I do like a lot of body. I like more layers if possible. You know, this tastes a little bit like coffee, but it's very sweet coffee. Where and then there's that roasted malt at the back. Beyond that, uh, it's nothing spectacular. It's a delicious drink, but it's a one-dimensional delicious drink. So personally, uh, I do enjoy this drink. Don't get me wrong, it's very delicious. It's just that it's very one-dimensional. Uh, there's nothing special about it. So it's not what I expected 
from a stout. Honestly, I've had better stouts. Even the lower priced ones, like the Royal Stouts, that gave me a more satisfied feeling compared to the Ting Tao Stouts. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal opinion and taste preferences. They're not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, want to find out what you think about this Ting Tao Premium Stouts dark and intense drop me some comments let's compare some notes and if you're still here do help me click on the like button do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already plus the notification bell because i upload two new videos every week also do share this video with your friends if you find someone who will enjoy this review most importantly once again a happy and prosperous lunar new year and happy drinking